Hey everybody, welcome back to X4 Foundation's Cradle of Humanity. We are continuing our Let's Play playthrough, and today we're going to do something a little different. So, let's see where we're at. We have uh, almost a million credits. So, basically, what happened between the last video and this, I did a couple of missions. One was uh, Deliver Herbicide, which just happened to be on the same station, and the trader had it. And the other was a pretty lucrative lockbox mission that took me into Xenon space. Actually, it took two tries for me to do it. So there was a reason it was expensive, but that was like 250k. And we also have our miner, which we covered in the last video, doing some work in the asteroid belt. There they are. Mining for us right there. And selling right there. So we have enough to buy another miner. So that is what we're going to go ahead and do. But we're gonna do it a little differently this time. So we'll uh, make this quick. Buy ships. Medium. Actually, uh, we're gonna try out the Copus miner here little thing right here what kind of a bay does it have 5480 eh, not too bad do minimum presets to get the engines and thrusters um, let's get some basic shields we'll do you know how much is this costing we'll do the me the, the mark II mining drill special occasion no turrets on this I'm actually going to fly this. So let's get a docking computer on there and a trading computer. What's our crew situation like? One out of three. So we'll just put a service crew on there. I don't think I need a Marine on here. And this is only going to cost 280K, which is really cheap. Well, this might be a spamming uh, these miners might be a, a valid way to do things. What's this? Oh, it's slow, though. It's slow. Um, how much will all around tier two? That won't get us much either. How, combat? 112. Ugh. About Mark three. I'm not paying this much for uh, 125. The speed is really slow on the Copus. Extremely slow compared to our uh, Bolo. That is one big downside because it only has the one engine. But for the pur purposes of this video, we'll go ahead and go with this. And here is our little Copus Miner. There's the drill. This is not the uh, most attractive looking ship. How do I even get in this thing? Where's the entrance? Oh, here it is. Interesting. It's in the back by the engines. Copus. Oh, there it is. Nope, you don't. Whoops. Interesting. I just... Huh. That is a wild little setup. I'll take the control here. Hello. Okay, so we're going to do a little mining. Life as a miner. Yeah, I know this is the exit. I'm still going out through it. All right. Let's find some asteroids to kill. We'll just go down here and see what mining is like in a copus. Now, could you do mining as uh, the main activity of the game? I remember in EVE Online, a lot of people used to like mining. Found it relaxing. It was never really for me, but some people enjoyed the activity when it always bothered me that bots could do it much better and did in the game a long time ago at least and probably still do, I don't know. All right, so we are in the asteroid field. Turn on the scanners here. Asteroid. We got some silicon there. Asteroid. 300, 315. We'll go take a look at that. OK. 
Okay, so that was the beam firing. The uh, forward is actually lower than the ship view. That's what makes it a little, little weird. You see how the reticle is right at the, the bow of the ship. That makes it a little funky. So there's no turrets on this. Turrets would make it easier, but we're going to do a little mining, I said. So we're mining. So we're killing this asteroid slowly. Asteroid. All right, so there's a bunch of asteroid pieces. You got to press down the O key and you can use your little tractor beam, your omnidirectional tractor beam to pull in things. And that's what we'll do here. Keep it nice and simple. This should fill up things, I, I think. Let's see. I know I'm not. I won't fill up things yet. That's only a part of our our ship. Ship information. No, that that did fill us up. So we are now filled after killing one asteroid in this and one, getting one thing. So it's small, smaller bay, but uh, it's effective now. Let's see if we see any crystals out here. Oh, Got to keep your eyes open. Or blinky. There's a blinker looking over there. It's far away though. Let's see if we can go check whatever. Go check that out. Oh no, am I just going towards my resource probe? <laughs> I was just going towards my resource probe. I never knew that blinked. Why didn't somebody tell me? All right. Crystals. We're looking for crystals. Why is my uh, ship kind of freezing over here. That's interesting. Is it because I'm near ice? All right, we are looking for crystals blinking. Oh, there's, I think I saw one up here. Yeah, there we go. Crystals, ahoy. Right on that asteroid, right there. It's an ore. There it is. So you can shoot it with the mining laser. And we got some bandite crystal. Remember to use the O key to hold down to uh, suck things in. And there we go. With the mining laser, it is very quick to do that. And then you can look in your inventory here, personal inventory. And we have unstable crystals, which are illegal. And bandanite crystals, which uh, are worth a thousand apiece. All right, so just for good measure, blow this up. Take that mm. asteroid. That's what we get for being there. Asteroid. So asteroid. yeah, mining definitely works as a player. 
And now we would go sell this. Um, I believe we have silicon, so we'll just set course over there. And that about does it for life as a miner. I don't think it's for me, but you know, this is just with the, the little mini miner. It can be pretty profitable if you get a quicker ship. Look for crystals because there are some much more valuable crystals. And uh, just or do war money if you like doing that. It is quick. I do believe it is quicker than the AI ships because if you ever watch an AI controlled ship do mining, they don't use that tractor beam really. So it is much slower. It is slower than if you do it yourself. So if you got yourself a large miner, you could probably do it pretty quick. Maybe we'll do that later. All right, that's it for this. Thanks for watching.